Let's take a look at race number nine at Saratoga on Saturday. It's the grade three Kelsel Stakes. It's one mile on turf. A purse of $175,000. You have two grade one winners in this race. This should be a pretty good race. Let's take a look at the field. Get the one horse, English B, at 20 to 1. Written by John Velasquez. Only one win in the last two years. This horse hasn't won a stakes race since 2019. We're getting 20 to 1 on the one horse. English B. At 8 to 5, it's the two Annapolis, written by Irad Ortiz. Let's take a look at this horse's record out of nine races, six wins, two seconds. The only bad race was the Breeders' Cup mile last year where he lunged at the start. But other than that, he's looked awesome. He loves this racetrack out of three races, two wins, and a second. Loves the distance. He's a grade one winner. Last time out at Churchill, that was off of several months layoff. Pulled out the win in the stakes race by a head. Getting Irad Ortiz and Todd Pletcher. I'm going to use the two horse Annapolis on my tickets. Take a look at the three midday image at 30 to 1. This horse should be forward in this race. I think you're going to get a pretty good pace. You have a few horses that like to lead. But you should get a nice pace in this one. Midday image. You know, his best races come against Allowance Company. You're getting 30 to 1 on the three horse midday image. Twenty to one is the four ice chocolate, written by Flavian Pratt. This horse's best races have also come against Allowance Company, but you know he's been competitive against Great Stakes Company. Two races back, finished second at Woodbine. Last time out in the Jiper, finished sixth in that race. He was closing. He was 63 to 1. Lately, he's been running a lot in sprints. Going to stretch him out to a mile. He has gotten a distance in the past. He does have a win at the distance in a second. Getting 20 to 1 on Ice Chocolate. Take a look at another horse that will definitely like to lead. It's the five horse, Big Everest. Five to one with Joel Rosario. Now you gotta love his form. He's, he's won four in a row. Before he was gelded, he had won one race out of five. Since being gelded, he's won six out of seven. He has a win at the racetrack. This is a distance that he likes. Joel Rosario is always tough on the lead. He's going to have some competition in this one. He's not getting the lead all to himself. He's going to have to earn it. Getting 5-1 to one on the 5 horse, Big Everest. I'll use Big Everest on my tickets. Take a look at the 6 horse, Philo de Ariana. Another horse that would, it's going to be forwardly placed in this race. Written by Jose Ortiz. Trained by Mark Cassie. Multiple grade two winner. This is his third off a layoff. Last time out in the poker. Kind of like this horse only liked to race at Woodbine. Or in Brazil. But last time out in the poker. Didn't do so bad. He went to the lead. Finished second by a neck. He showed he can race well at other tracks other than Woodbine. Getting 5-1 to one on a 6-horse. Philo de Ariana. But his best racing have come when he's forward. 
It's going to have some competition in this one. Now, for some reason, who knows, one of the speed horses breaks slowly. Like a big Everest doesn't break well. And this horse gets the lead, but Jose Ortiz, he can be pretty tough. I mean, Jose Ortiz is winning races in bunches right now. He's a hot jockey. Getting 5-1 to one on the 6, Philo de Ariana. I'm reluctant to keep him off my tickets, but I can understand if anybody wants to use this horse on their tickets. But I'm going to only put four of my tickets in this race, so I'm going to leave him off because I think it's going to be a pretty fast pace. But I'm a little bit reluctant to do that, especially with Jose Ortiz aboard. Take a look at the seven horse. Anaconda, six to one. Two races back. On the stakes race at Belmont. Last time out in the poker, he got off pretty slow in that race. But he was closing nicely. Only lost by three quarters of a length. He'll be running late in this one. I think he's going to get a pretty good pace to run into. Hitting six to one on a seven horse Anaconda. I will use Anaconda on my tickets. Then there's the eight horse at five to two. Casa Creed. Out of four races at Saratoga. That's two wins, two thirds. Finished third last time out with Jiper. He's been keeping some pretty good company, hasn't he? And all you see on this record is grade one, grade one, grade one, grade one. He's going over to Saudi Arabia. He's gone over to Dubai. And he's been running against some quality competition, Casa Creed. He's a closer. He's going to love a fast pace. And he should get it in this one. He has two wins at Saratoga. I'm going to use the eight horse. Casa Creed on my tickets. So these are the horses that I'm using. I'm using Anaconda. Big Everest, Casa Creed, and Annapolis. I think this is going to be a very good race. I think it's a race that, in terms of winning, comes down between two horses. That's Casa Creed and Annapolis. And the horse I'm going to pick to win is the two horse, Annapolis. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Good luck.